Hello and welcome to Learn Oracle video tutorial series. I'm Ahmed and in this video we'll learn how to use uh, Oracle user accounts, how to create them and how to make changes to them. And we'll take a look at the concept of schema in Oracle database as well. Before someone is able to connect to the database and access the data, he must have a user account. A user account has, an, has a username and a password. This combination of username and password is a mandatory prerequisite of connecting and accessing data from Oracle database. This process of verifying the identity of a user is called authentication. There can be two types of authentications. One is database authentication, where Oracle database user is authenticated. Other method is external authentication. For that, we would need to create an external user. But first, take a glance at the concept of schema. A collection of database objects, those include tables, views, sequences, indexes, and so on, that is owned by a user is called a schema. A schema has the same name as of the user. Sys and system are the super users of Oracle database and are created as soon as we install Oracle. You may remember from our, from our Oracle installation video that during installation we are, asks, we are asked to provide a password for sys and system users. We'll see how to create a database user. We'll first connect to system user and create a user by using create user statement. In this, in this example, we are creating a user with the name username and we are providing a password which is which is in this case is password in the identified by clause Oracle can be configured to use external authentication or operating system authentication instead of database authentication. This is also called OS authentication method. For this, we need to create an external user. This is how we create external external user. Here you can see in identify clause we provide keyword externally instead of providing password. So the user will be authenticated externally. Alter user statement can be used to account, uh, block, lock, or unlock a user account after alter user keywords, provide username, and after username, provide account lock keywords, or in case of unlock, account unlock keyword.
Here is a demo to lock or unlock users in SQL Developer.